Imagine a world where the Axis powers emerged victorious in World War II. How different would our world look today? This scenario might seem far-fetched, but it's a thought-provoking exercise in exploring alternate history. Picture this, Germany, Italy, and Japan, the key players of the Axis Pact, not succumbing, but instead dominating the global stage. This is not to rewrite history or downplay the atrocities committed during the war. Rather, it's an exploration of a what-if scenario that could have drastically reshaped our world. Let's be clear. This is purely hypothetical, a flight of imagination, not a reflection of historical facts. We're about to delve into an alternate timeline, one that's likely to be both fascinating and unsettling. What would the world map look like? What would be the global politics? How would everyday life be affected in this hypothetical Axis-dominated world? So let's dive into this alternate timeline and explore the what-ifs of an Axis victory. The Axis powers had a vision, a new world order under their control. But what would that look like? To comprehend this, we must delve into the ideologies and ambitions that fueled the Axis powers during the Second World War. Germany, Italy and Japan, the three primary Axis powers, each had their unique vision of the future, driven by territorial expansion and ideological dominance. Germany, under Adolf Hitler's regime, pursued a dream of racial purity and territorial expansion, known as Lebensraum or living space. This vision involved the annexation and colonization of Eastern Europe, resulting in the displacement, enslavement and extermination of millions deemed racially inferior. Italy, led by Benito Mussolini, sought to revive the grandeur of ancient Rome. The fascist regime envisioned an Italian empire stretching across the Mediterranean, bringing nations under the banner of Italian culture and civilization. Japan, on the other hand, aimed to establish the greater East Asia co-prosperity sphere. This expansionist ideology was painted as a pan-Asian movement to liberate Asian countries from Western imperialism. However, in reality it was a guise for Japanese imperial ambition. These territorial ambitions bore severe implications for the occupied territories. The people living in these regions would have been subjected to forced assimilation, exploitation, and in many cases, systematic extermination. The world would have been divided into spheres of influence, with cultural diversity being replaced by the ideologies of the Axis powers. Moreover, the Axis's vision extended beyond mere territorial control. They sought to impose their ideologies on the world, reshaping global politics, economy and society according to their principles. Freedom, democracy and human rights as we know them today, would have been replaced by totalitarian rule, racial hierarchy, and a culture of fear and oppression. An Axis victory would have dramatically reshaped the world map and the lives of billions. The world as we know it today, with its diverse cultures, democratic values and respect for human rights, would have been a vastly different place under the Axis vision. The consequences of such a reality are difficult to fathom, but they serve as a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance against the rise of such destructive ideologies. With the Axis powers in control, the world would have seen some drastic changes. Politics would have been redefined, social structures altered, economies reshaped, and the global landscape would have been unrecognizable as we know it. Envision a world where democracy is not the norm, but the exception. The Axis powers, primarily Germany, Italy, and Japan, were driven by different forms of authoritarian rule. Countries would have been forced to abandon their democratic institutions, succumbing to a new order, an order that thrived on totalitarianism and militarism. The social fabric of the world would have been stretched and strained. The Axis powers' ideologies were rooted in racial and ethnic superiority. Imagine a world where equality is a distant dream, a world where your race or ethnicity could determine your fate, your rights, your very existence. Economies would have been manipulated to serve the Axis powers' war machine, Countries would have been stripped of their resources, their industries reoriented to produce weapons and war materials. The global economy, as we know it, might have been replaced with a war-driven economy, with prosperity being a privilege of the few at the top of the Axis hierarchy. And let's not forget international relations. The world would have been divided, not by borders drawn by geography or culture, but by the whims and desires of the Axis powers. Nations would have been pawns in a grand game of power, their sovereignty sacrificed at the altar of Axis ambitions. Human rights, freedoms, these concepts would have been alien in a world under Axis control. The Axis powers' ideologies did not leave room for individual freedom or human rights. People would have been mere cogs in the machinery of the Axis war effort, 
their lives dictated by the needs of the state, no corner of the globe would have been left untouched by the Axis's iron grip. The world as we know it would have been a vastly different place, a stark contrast to the values of freedom, equality, and democracy we hold dear today. In the face of oppression, human spirit often shines the brightest. Resistance movements would have undoubtedly sprung up. Imagine a world where the Axis powers had succeeded. In this world, the embers of rebellion would have smoldered under the heel of oppression. A world where the very concept of freedom would be a treasured memory, a whisper of a dream. But dreams, as they say, are powerful things. They can inspire, they can galvanize, and in this case, they would have sparked a flame of resistance. From the shadows would have risen secret societies, underground movements working tirelessly to undermine the Axis control. These brave individuals would be the unsung heroes of this alternate history, risking everything to bring about change. They would have been a network of spies, saboteurs and insurgents, each playing their part in the grand chessboard of rebellion. Espionage would have played a critical role, information is power, and in this world, it would have been the key to survival. Underground networks would have worked in the shadows, gathering intelligence, orchestrating covert operations, and disseminating information to the masses. They would have been the eyes and ears of the resistance, their actions a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. Resistance wouldn't have been limited to covert operations though. Open rebellion would have been a common sight in this world. Mass protests, strikes, acts of civil disobedience, all would have been tools in the fight against Axis rule. These acts of rebellion both small and large, would have been a beacon of hope in a world shrouded in darkness. And let's not forget the importance of morale. In a world where freedom is a distant memory, the mere existence of a resistance would have been a beacon of hope. Each act of defiance, each successful mission, each small victory would have been a reminder that freedom, though suppressed, was not lost. In this world the fight for freedom would have taken on a whole new meaning. Every empire has its downfall. Even in this alternate history, the Axis powers would not have been invincible. In this hypothetical world where the Axis forces reigned supreme, their reign would not have been everlasting. You see, power, when concentrated and unchallenged, often breeds instability. The cracks would have begun to show, and the Axis powers despite their initial success, would likely have started to crumble from within. Internal conflicts would have been the first signs of trouble. The Axis powers, a union of nations with divergent interests and ideologies, were not a monolithic entity. Their unity was primarily based on their shared goal of territorial expansion and dominance. But once this objective was achieved ideological differences could have caused rifts within the alliance. Hitler's vision of Aryan supremacy for example was not shared by all Axis members, and this could have been a cause for dissent and conflict. Next, consider the economic implications of maintaining such a vast empire. The strain of sustaining a war machine, the cost of occupation and administration of conquered territories, not to mention the economic sanctions from the rest of the world, could have led to economic instability. Even the richest of nations can be brought to its knees by a failing economy. Finally, let's not forget the power of resistance movements. History is filled with examples of small groups of determined individuals changing the course of events. In our alternate history it's not far-fetched to imagine that successful resistance movements could have emerged in conquered territories, gradually eroding the Axis power's control. These factors combined could have created a perfect storm, leading to the eventual downfall of the Axis powers. This is not to say that their reign would not have had lasting and devastating effects, but like all empires in history, their time too would have come to an end. The sun eventually sets on every empire, and this Axis-controlled world would have been no different. This alternate history scenario is chilling, but it offers us an opportunity to reflect on the lessons of our real history. It's a stark reminder of the importance of remembering our past, for history holds invaluable lessons for us all. It teaches us how our actions or in some cases our inactions can shape the world in profound ways. The real World War II, despite its devastation, brought to the forefront values that we hold dear today. Peace, freedom, and unity. It taught us the strength of collective action against a common foe, and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. It's these lessons, these values that we must carry forward. They are our guideposts, our beacons in the fog of uncertainty. So while we explore these what-ifs, let's also remember the what-is, a world that rose from the ashes of war to build a better future.
That's the power of our shared history.